Hello everybody, my name is Luigi and I am an exercise physiologist. Shortly, we will be talking about the cardiac cycle. The cardiac cycle refers to the physiological and mechanical events occurring during one systole and one diastole. The systole means that the heart contracts and the diastole means that the heart relaxes. The heart can be considered as a double pump and all the events that occur on the left side also occur on the right side. For simplification, we analyze the sequence of events that occur in the left side and at a slower speed. Also, to facilitate understanding, I have simplified graphically the heart structures. During diastole, the heart is relaxed and receives blood coming from the venous return. At this phase, the metal valve is open and the blood flows from the atrium to the ventricle passively. Before atrial contraction starts, about 80% of ventricular filling has already occurred passively. At this stage, the aortic valve is closed. When the atrium contracts, the intraventricular pressure increases and the mitral valve is still open, allowing 20% more blood to be pumped actively into the ventricle, optimizing ventricular filling. This also increases the intraventricular pressure slightly. The contribution of atrial contraction to ventricular filling becomes more important during exercise because the demand of blood supply to the working muscles increases considerably. After the atrial contraction is completed, the atrium relaxes. At this stage, the aortic valve remains closed. When the ventricle starts to contract, the intraventricular pressure increases and when the pressure exceeds that in the atrium causes the mitral valve to close, preventing backflow of blood into the atrium, also producing the first heart sound. But at this stage the intraventricular pressure is still lower than that in the aorta and the aortic valve remains closed. Because both valves are closed the ventricle continues to contract as a closed chamber. This phase is called isovolumetric contraction, which means that the volume of blood within the ventricle remains the same. However, as the ventricle contraction continues, the intraventricular pressure increases rapidly and when the pressure exceeds that in the aorta, causes the aortic valve to open and the blood is ejected rapidly into the aorta, which is stretched out. The elasticity of the aorta allows to accommodate a larger volume of blood. After the rapid ejection phase, the pressure within the ventricle starts to fall and the slow ventricular ejection phase begins. Throughout this stage, the mitral valve remains closed. When the ventricle starts to relax, the intraventricular pressure decreases and the acid falls below that in the aorta causes the aortic valve to close, producing the second heart sound. The elastic property of the aorta allows it to recoil, helping to push the blood in the aortic tree. As the pressure within the ventricle continues to drop, eventually 
it becomes less than that in the atrium, causing the mitral valve to open, and the blood, which accumulated in the atrium during ventricular contraction, flows passively into the ventricle, and the cycle starts again. In conclusion, the cardiac cycle comprises one systole, or heart contraction, and one diastole, heart relaxation. The rhythmical contractions and relaxation of the heart ensure that the blood is supplied throughout the blood. Thank you for watching, and if you like to contact me, both my email and website addresses are now appearing on the screen. In my YouTube account, also appearing on the screen, I have uploaded all interesting videos about science, so you can have a look there too. Thanks, and bye for now.